Hello guys, this is Donald's Movies and today I will be giving you the origin of the Night Elves, explaining their evolution process and the establishment of one of the strongest empires Azeroth has ever seen. So without further ado, let's get into the lore. Long ago, the troll race was split into many different groups and they all clashed with each other over hunting grounds and territory. This created chaos as all the different bigger and smaller tribes were constantly at war with each other, yet one tribe, known as the Dark Trolls, was unconcerned about these battles for Dominion. They were very much different from the rest of their people and unlike the other trolls, they hated daylight and spent most of their time inside of a network of deep caverns beneath Mount Hyjal. The dark trolls cherished their independence from the greater troll society and their goals were aligned with the natural world and living in harmony with it. Eventually, following these goals, they slowly migrated towards the center of Kalimdor where they had accidentally discovered an enormous lake, a lake they would later call the Well of Eternity. They were completely blown away by this revelation and not long after, the Dark Trolls began settling on the shores of the well. They were unaware at first, but over generations the energies from the lake transformed their flesh and bones, starting the evolution process. Apart from just the obvious physical changes, the energies also increased their intelligence and turned them into virtually immortal beings. This change led to the abandonment of their ancient troll heritage and traditions starting a brand new, completely different society. While the evolution was taking place, the Dark Trolls also began worshipping the so-called Moon Goddess Elune, who they believed was bound to the Well of Eternity itself and would only make her presence known after daylight. Through their presumed communication with Elune, they discovered many different titan words, the most notable being the name of the entire continent, Kalimdor. Impressed by this, they decided to finally put a seal to their transformation, changing their name into Night Elves, also known as Calderai, meaning Children of the Stars. This change began a new era for the world and as the Night Elves flourished, the Wild God Scenarius took a keen interest in this mysterious new race. After a short period of time, Scenarius befriended the Night Elves and taught them much about the natural world, hoping that one day they would strive to live in harmony and keep the balance of the wilds. For a time he was right as the Night Elves built a graceful society, honing their ties with the surrounding woodland creatures, but eventually many of the Elves yearned for a different lifestyle. They started to become obsessed with the Well of Eternity and its unimaginable arcane power, rigorously studying it. Soon enough, magic became an inseparable part of their life and the driving force of their culture was pushing the boundaries of intellect and controlling arcane energy. It was during this big society shifting era that Queen Ashara would rise to power. Ashara was the embodiment of night elven lust for power and not long after she would create a completely new layer of the night elven society, a group of nobles known as the highborn. They were the elite that worshipped the queen and even though Ashara and the highborn saw themselves as superior to the rest of the night elven people, almost every night elf of every single social status adored her. This love, even though it might not make sense, was completely justified as during her reign, the Night Elven civilization blossomed. 
for the first time in the history of Azeroth since the Black Empire fell, a new empire had grown so big that there wasn't a single force in the world to match it. He built outposts in the most remote parts of Azeroth, vast cities and various other marvels that would never be repeated to this day. At some point, even the big troll tribes that once controlled massive territories buckled before the devastating magic that the night elves have wielded. As Ashara wasn't entirely interested in conquest but more in expanding her own power, she struck a deal with the Zandalari allowing them to keep the region of the Zandalar mountains in exchange for the trolls not attacking night elven lands. The trolls didn't really have a choice, they were forced to agree as they didn't stand a single chance against their enemy's arcane powers, but this created a bitter hatred that would last for thousands of years to come. Now the troll threat was over and Ashara continued her dominion, making the Night Elven Empire the greatest there ever was. However, as good as this expansion was for their society, it would ultimately lead to their doom. On Queen Ashara's quest for power, she realized how little they actually know about the Well of Eternity and she pushed the Highborn to plumb into the depths in order to expand their knowledge. This reckless action sent torrents of magic into the twisting nether, attracting the attention of Sargeras. Finally, Sargeras had discovered the location of Azeroth that he had long been searching for and soon enough he brought his legion after it. A war of the ancients began, the world was sundered and the night elven empire broke, never again reaching the same height of power. Alright and that is all I have for this video, do leave your feedback on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this and also like the video as it really helps out and keeps everything going. Thanks a lot for taking the time out of the day to watch this video and see you next time.